Entering the 1988 season, Patrick prepared to again wage his personal battle to revive his team. But now he would finally get reinforcements. New coach Rick Patino would install a running game that was perfectly suited to Ewing's full court prowess. And rookie point guard Mark Jackson would deliver him the ball. Jackson for Ewing! The relationship that we had on the court uh, from the first day of practice, something just clicked. And I knew I was in good shape with Patrick Ewing on the floor with me. Jackson with the step for Ewing! Ewing, good luck, layup, good. Jackson with the ball. Oh, Ewing, oh, yeah. Incredible. You didn't even have to call a play. He knew what, what I was thinking, I knew what he was thinking. We fed off of one another. A steal by Ewing. Jackson keeping it alive, finding Ewing. With Patrick leading the way, the New York revival began. Alley up to Ewing. Jumping out. And it's a three on one. Here's Ewing. It's all going New York's way again. And as the season drew to a close, the emotionally charged Knicks found themselves challenging for a playoff berth. Stepanovich on the move. And it's all over. The Knicks make it to the playoffs for the first time since the 1984 season. I remember Sidney Green diving on me. I'm on the floor. I'm like, get off my leg. Trying to hurt me before the playoffs start. Though New York would lose to a veteran Boston Celtic team, Patrick made the most of his playoff debut and was determined that it was only the start of things to come. He knew he was the man, and he knew sooner or later that uh, with the right situation, with the right players around him, it would happen. You know, and uh, the Knicks got the right people around him, and things started rolling again. Building on his postseason performance, Ewing continued to elevate his team and his game. And now Ewing is turning it on. Rebound Ewing. <laughs> we can say Ewing's had an effect. He is controlling the game. Ewing, not the shot you want, but he hits it. Patrick Ewing has hit the 40-point plateau. Behind Patrick's inspired play, his mix set a new standard for home court dominance. You know, we're going on in the record book as one of the best teams to ever played at Madison Square Garden. And for the first time in five years, Patrick gave New York a taste of playoff success. The Knicks have swept the 76ers. They have reached the East semifinals for the first time since back in 83-84. Patrick became the Knicks, pretty much. He was our, our go-to guy. He was our franchise guy. Patrick not likely to shoot it. Oh, Though Stu Jackson took over for Rick Pitino in the 1990 season, Ewing didn't miss a beat. He would be voted the All-Star Team's starting center. At center, making his first start in four All-Star appearances from the New York Knicks, Patrick Ewing. And while Patrick had always been known as a dominant defender, he would now take his place among the league's top scorers averaging almost 29 points a game. He's got the whole pack and he's got a pretty go. And fittingly, Boston Garden would be the scene of one of Patrick's most dominant performances. With the Knicks down two games to the Celtics and facing playoff elimination, Ewing led one of the most stirring comebacks in playoff history. Only it away. One second. It was great. I remember coming off the court, you know, I had a lot of friends and family at the game, and I, I pointing at them up in the stands and said, yeah, I told you we was going to do it. <laughs> it was great.